Hello, in this video I'm going to show how to copy files between cloud storage providers with rclone. So rclone is a command line program that's a lot like rsync, but instead of working with local directories, it works between different cloud providers. So if we go here to the what providers does rclone support page, you see it's got actually a, a lot of products it supports, and it'll show you how to configure them by selecting the config button here for each one. So we're not gonna go too far into this yet, but remember this is here if you need it. For now, let's go to the install page and we'll copy the command to run rclone. Let's go over to the terminal. So I'm here in a Debian Ubuntu Linux WSL instance, and let's just go ahead and run that script that we got from rclone.org. This will only take a minute. All right, and now it says we can run rclone config for setup. Let's go ahead and do that. So it's going to ask us if we want to set up a remote, which is our clones interpretation of a cloud provider. So if we go ahead and set up a new remote, I have two I'm gonna use for this demo, one for Microsoft Azure and one for AWS. So let's set up AWS first. And you see, we've actually got all of the options to support here by number. It's gonna ask us to enter one of these numbers to set it up. Since I'm using S3 for this demo, I'm gonna go ahead and pick four, and then I'll just fill out this form here. And part of this is filling out access keys. So I'll do this here and then I'll blur them. And the next part we need is the region. So all of my buckets are in US East one, which is the default region. And then the rest of this, I'm actually gonna leave blank and just hit enter through the rest of these. I don't need this for copying necessarily, but some of the more advanced features of our clone include bucket creation or synchronization. So I'll skip setting those up for now. You can look up more documentation on the R clone website if you need to. I am also not going to enter any advanced config. And again, there are some secrets exposed here. So don't do this in front of anyone unless you've got an editor who can block all of it out. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing for Azure. Now that both of those are set up, I'll go ahead and quit the config. So next, as I mentioned earlier, I've got two buckets already set up. I've got an Amazon S3 bucket called rclone demo. And inside of that bucket, I have one file that says AWS file. I also have a storage, uh, an Azure blob storage container called rclone demo AZ. And I have one file in there called Azure file.txt. So now if I run our clone list remotes, I see I have one remote for Azure and one for AWS. Let's see if I can get these, these files from their respective storage containers and buckets. So if I run our clone LS using the AWS remote, specifying the our clone demo bucket, it shows me the AWS file. And if I do the same command, but using the Azure remote and changing the bucket name because we have the, the Azure bucket is our clone demo AZ. So it shows us each file from each of the buckets. And we can also run a cat command through these remotes if necessary. Now, if I want to copy one of these over to the other, like for example, if I wanted to copy everything from my AWS bucket over to Azure. Let me clear the screen and I'll do an R clone copy and I'll specify the source as the AWS remote. Remember, it's very important that you specify the remote with a colon first, otherwise R clone might confuse it with a local file storage. And then I will use the R clone bucket or excuse me, the R clone demo bucket. And I wanna copy everything in that bucket over to Azure the Azure remote to the rclone demo AZ blob storage container.
Now, once that's run, we can go ahead and verify it by just running the rclone ls again on Azure. And see, it's got both files in there now. I could also check by running an rclone check command. And I want to check and make sure that whatever is in my AWS remote in the rclone demo bucket is also present in my Azure rclone demo az blob storage container. And right now it's giving me an error that my Azure file.txt is not in our clone demo, but I only wanted to check this one way. So I'll go ahead and specify the one way flag. And there we go. It looks like everything that I wanted to copy from AWS into Azure has been copied. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.